That guy's having a blast. Mm -hmm. We were in Mendoza for 20 days. It was cold out there. It was it was awesome. It was beautiful. Got to meet my wife's family and a lot of stuff. Uh, it's heartbreaking to come come back, you know, leaving the fa their their family, which is my family now. Also, they're so great people. And Argentinians themselves, they're so nice. And then when you are family, they treat you obviously even more like family. But uh, now we're in Buenos Aires and Hello. early in the morning. And we got here, we got to the hotel, we just knocked out and fell asleep. We were so tired. Adeli was actually feeling kind of sick. We grabbed some mall, beautiful mall. And uh, we're just hungry, so we're gonna go get something to eat. Just so happy, um, we've done a lot already. And you know, the body is just, it's just crazy. You know, you have to, you can't just keep going and going. You actually have to rest. So we actually fell asleep for a couple, a couple hours. At least a good six hours we slept in the hotel uh, during the day. I know, I know, we're in Argentina, we fell asleep. We want a burger. Me? I don't want fast food. We're in Argentina, so let's go eat some good food. But she wants this. Found the KFC, guys. See something else. Let's go back to the United States and eat some KFC. I don't want to mad because she wants to eat KFC here. Going to Recoleta, which is at the cemetery. But on the way, we just found this old telephone. Hello? 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 Oh, oh, I think it's for you, Adeli. Cemetery. It's very good to show you. Show you a little bit. I'll be right here. to work hard for the future, okay? And if you have issues with the past, I think that we should definitely look to, to, to go forward, okay? Deal with issues that you had in the past, but we need to spring forward, all right? And that's how we break through. We found this place that we wanted to come to eat. It's called Club de Milanesas, but we're just not hungry at, at all. Not, not one bit hungry. This happens a lot here in Argentina. You want to eat everything, but you're not even hungry anymore. We were walking around and we found this cool museum, the little garden there. Another Narnia. Check out the video, what I mean. Wow, the door. They should have a door. Here we have a famous coffin, okay? And this coffin is this guy, okay? And he had, he had a really big boot, okay? Shoes, his shoes were very big. And actually right there in the bottom, he was buried with his shoes, okay? And this is the burial of his, uh, his coffin. I'm kidding, that's all a lie. I have no idea what that means. But guys, we went to the Estancia link over here if you want to see that video. We stayed at this place and it was like a palace where we just came to Argentina and this looks exactly like this place. They're exactly similar. So go see that video and uh, remember, always like and subscribe. It belonged to this lady. Her name was Josefina. And she was from Europe. She was very wealthy. That's her. She married a guy. She was also wealthy. He died. Uh, she kept all the money. But she was already wealthy, but she was wealthy back in the 1800s, okay? Even a little bit before that. And they used to bring things to Europe, all over uh, to here, to Argentina. They had a lot of influence on Argentina and how the country developed. Um, the brother was like a politician, his cousin was actually the president of Argentina at one point. And this is what she created. Areli, Areli. <laughs> We're taking a break, but <laughs> Abby's crying over here. If I that I mentioned to you guys in the other video, check it out over here. Uh, the alfajor inside, okay, this is very famous here. The inside is like a cookie and it has like a caramel inside and it's delicious. We made it to a Japanese garden.
found this wishing well over here. You know, I don't believe in wishing wells. I believe in action wells. Go out there and do it, guys. Go out there and do it.